Set me up proper for the rest of the night. Next time they got guys for pick and choose, Lee Morgan. This one is called Party Time. Let's do it right now. That's a long bass line. Walk it. Hey, man, well. Lee Morgan's the horn player, I'm assuming. Pick and choose. Is pick and choose. <laughs> Another. Uh, I was wondering where you got pick and choose. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Cheers, Winter Sun Alex. Appreciate you being here. Xylophone.
1967. This one, that was probably played and recorded live, too. Let's just realize that. That's not studio, dude. That's live shit. Uh, Lee Morgan, the procrastinator, record label Blue Note, release date 1967. Uh, Lee Morgan on the trumpet, Wayne Shorter on the tenor sax, Bobby Hutcherson on the vibes, whatever that is. Herbie Hancock, did, didn't you guys, oh, vibraphone. Did, didn't you guys have a president named Herbie Hancock? Uh, Herbie Hancock is like... Um... Piano player. <laughs> Yeah, but he also did a bunch of like hip hop stuff. Or, or, no kidding. Or in the 70s, early 80s. Yeah. No shit. Uh, he was on piano. Ron Carter was on the bass. Ron Carter's a gem. And Billy Higgins on the drums. Um, I mean, the complexity of it is crazy. These guys are all like elitely trained, you know, classically trained musicians. None of this fucking punk rock sloppy bullshit. This is like real technical symphony it's a symphony it's fucking it's not just like a rock band this is like fucking talented musicians working together in harmony mm -hmm. and they can play anything live perfectly anytime that's amazing mm -hmm. that was live um cool to see reminds me of, i was i was i was a bartender at this bar in cambridge ontario which is a fucking shithole i'll tell you that but uh <laughs> there was a couple uh there was a couple regulars that came in that wanted me to, that requested jazz on spotify one time and they became so so big of regulars that I just started kind of milking it every time they come in that I have jazz playing, and it became like a jazz club. And the owner, the owner's brother, comes in to the bar. I'm like rocking. It's my own place. There's only around 15 seats. It's just my own bar, and I'm I'm taking care of these 15 people. Mm -hmm. And he looks at me, he's like, "What the fuck is this shit?" And he turn <laughs> he tur he turns the music on to like top top 20. And I didn't say anything. I didn't make a big scene or like top top 100. He turns it to like mm -hmm. rock and roll and like slowly one table after each table got up and left yeah. it was just like i was just like buddy we had a thing going on here with the jazz and they weren't having it so i quit fucking asshole mm -hmm. <laughs> um yeah i'm gonna give that as far as jazz goes i'm pretty green i don't know much about it looking forward to learning more gonna give that a uh, solid nine technicality was impressive uh chelsea what do you say i was gonna go 8.5 um the trumpet definitely was singing but I need some vocals, like that. Was, yeah, it was it was as good as it gets without vocals. Um, I'm uh, yeah, I'm green with jazz, but um, I do enjoy it. That was smooth. I could uh, I could definitely see myself chilling listening to that mm -hmm. kind of good vibes. What do you say, Impresso? Uh, for me, that was impressive. Um, I didn't realize that that had such an all star lineup behind it. Um. Yeah, there was parts that were just so smooth with the piano, and then the the vibraphone came in, and the sax came in, and different parts. It's like everybody was playing uh, a, a solo. Yeah, solos at the mixed same together. Same time and like kind of like coming back together and breaking back apart. Mm -hmm. I thought I thought it was just a whirlwind of excellence. That shit was awesome. Whirlwind um, gonna, of excellence. I mean, I mean, it really was. <laughs> I'm going to give it a 9.5, man. That's awesome. 9.5, and I believe we it now have me. a super...